Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Mario Party Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, if you're wondering what am I doing all the way back in town area to Mushroom Condo, I was going through all the videos that I've already did recently and I just realized I missed something that was glaringly obvious at the time. I mean, think about this empty space right here at the bottom, below first floor. Remember what the Babam said that even though you can't see anything, chances are he's there? Well, that's what he meant. Hey, how did you find me down here? My name's Big Babam. How you doing? So now that you're here, what do you want? Uh, I would like that couch, but rather let's talk. Big Boss Babam. Well, just relax. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, you seem a bit lazy. I mean, you're really comfortable on that couch. I don't see you going anywhere. That fiery look in your eyes takes me back. Hey, I know. You want to play the dice game? If you beat me, you can have a gadget. How about it? You want to play or what? Well, right now I don't have a choice, so yes, I'll take you on. Ha <laughs> ha, I like you, kid. You're honest. You win if you get the higher number three times. All right. Let's roll. So, basically, this is a luck-based based, luck game and nothing more. Alright, hit the dice. I won't go easy on ya. What? There's no skill involved! I mean, look, you got a one! I could pretty much beat that with anything. Would you look at that? I'll roll once more. Well, pretty much anything except another one. Oh, you got a two! Wow! Oh, this'll be easy. Damn it! Ha oh, ha, mine's bigger! That's not what she said. Six. I could beat a six, but I could not beat a two! I haven't even started yet. Uh, you started a while ago. A five. Woohoo! A ten! Just one more roll. Come on. I only need one more to win. A three. That's pretty damn low. And I just barely beat it. You mean, I beat a five. I beat a six. I think it was a six. And I beat a three. But I could not beat a two or a one. Ha ha ha, I lost. That's incredible. You're something else, kid. Great job. Like I said, here's a gadget. I hope it's a Murphy's Law gadget. I mean, damn. You got the stress press. With someone like you and our gang, that Bowser wouldn't act so tough. See, this Bowser guy showed up recently. He's been making a real mess in town. Sorry, crankiness comes with old age. Stop by anytime. I'll be hanging out here. I still can't get over that. Beat like a three, four, five, or six. No, wait. It was a 5 or 6 and a 3 I beat. But not a 2 or a 1. I lost to a 2 and draw to a 1. How do you pull that off? Like, that is just bad luck up the ass. Damn. This is only the second time I played this game. Shell stack. Good to know I haven't forgotten. Gotten out of play, but I screwed up on the second shell. But I won't screw up twice. Just a simple short hops you gotta make. And I tried out a very long one, just like a dumbass. Ow! Good, you don't get knocked off. You just delay the inevitable. That's right, I gotta head all the way back to the jungle. Damn. Well, I've been getting for very lucky dice rolls on the way here, and that was somewhat lucky. So it's not like I missed out much. So how far do I have to go to uh, get to where I need to be? Oh, just over that way. Oh, that's not too bad. Could be worse. So far, I'm not stringing together some big combos. 
I gotta play another game. I would say about this game in general that it's not bad, but compared to other Mario Party games, it's not good either. It's more hit or miss. So to speak. Come on, fall. Pretty sure I can make this jump. No, I can't. Well, I suppose I wouldn't hurt to try a different path for a change. Who knows, it might actually take me to where I need to be. Yep, it does. I used to always take the high path, but why not mix it up? Otherwise, it would just get boring again. But yeah, if you want to play this for the Mario Party experience, you're going to be royally disappointed. Unless you have someone you actually play with. Uh, I'd rather go this way. I don't want to land on the minus space. <laughs> now I get a high roll. Oh, back to the jungle area. And I got another mushroom challenge. <sighs> really dragging it out. I still wonder how you get out of that place. I mean, you're practically on an island covered by lava. Ukiki House. I'll stop. Kiki, kiki, kiki! This is serious! Oh, hey, I'm a Kiki! Anyway, I need help! <laughs> Back away slowly! Sure, I'll listen. Monkey napping? Okay, okay. So here's the deal. You listening? What's all this then? You're always around when it comes to mysteries. Yeah, that's a very awkward way to climb down a vine. Who are you? Oh, I'm Shithead. I mean, Shroomlock from Toadland Yard. I was heading to lunch when I heard an eek. Yeah, well, listen up, little mushroom man. Heh, <laughs> little. The name's Shroomlock. Whatever. Anyway, this is my uncle's house. His name is Ukiki. He's king of the jungle. Well, Mayor, really, when I came to visit, he was gone. I found a letter on the floor. Let's see. We have your uncle. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you see anything? This looks like a case of kidnapping. No, really? I would have guessed piracy. Eek, eek, I knew it. Oh, uncle. Where is my uncle? Why, this letter says where your uncle is. Yoshi, would you help this little lady out? Wait, that's a lady? Oh, uh, certainly. Great. I'd love to do it myself, but... I think I twisted my foot just now. Lies. Here, read this letter and find our uncle. His location is hidden in a secret code. I'll show you the letter right now. Big Team Cat Leather f Flake? Larm pot. Wait. Hang on, I, I see something. Big team cat leather flake blarm pot. But if you look closely, look at the letters that are capitalized. I am at the lake. Blarm pot I don't really understand. Maybe it's just something that needs to be rearranged. But I got it. Heek, and thank you. Now the question is, where is the lake? Could it be... Ah, Lock Dory. Well, this looks like a lake area, but is there another lake? Like, probably at the beach? I don't see any. So that looks like the only place I need to go, and Sandy Beach obviously is not a lake. Wow, low roll. Another low roll, but at least I'll land on a dice base. Oh, this is the stop. Ook, you found me. That's my Akiki. Wait, you're not Akiki. Who am I? Why, I'm Okiki. 
Is that what happened? Oh dear, oh dear. I wanted to surprise my little Akiki. I never thought it would become such a mess. Here, take this gadget of mine. Okay. The Mini Maze. Sorry for all the fuss. I better go explain to Akiki, huh? Well, goodbye. Yeah, that would be a good idea. You might want to do that. But at least I don't have to go there myself. Alright, 21 more quests to go. I'm starting to think I got every single minigame out of this. I haven't seen any question marks show up on the roulette in a long time. It's looking pretty damn obvious by now. And this game is still obviously quite easy. Look, 51 seconds. It's a joke. Now I can see why this game had a very bad rating. It doesn't suck, it's just bad compared to the other Mario Party games. I am Mr. E, Seeker of Mysteries. I hear a monster lurks within this lake. And you're pointing the wrong way. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, th there it is. Don't let it eat me. You know, you look like a Lapras and a Dratini and a Love Child. Are you a dinosaur? You look like one to me. My name's Dory, and I'm so lonely. Please, tell me you'll be my friend. Sure. Wait, maybe this is a mission only Yoshi can do. Oh, really? My first friend! Hooray! I thought I was the only dinosaur around. Here, as a token of our friendship, have this. The soil sonar. I'm glad you're happy with it. But don't forget, we're friends forever. Wow, that was the most difficult quest ever. I would imagine Princess Peaches over at Mr. Ivy the exact same. Yes, I finished 30 quests. He seems surprised. The yellow one this time. Your but your favorite cartoon? Hmm. Interesting. It's not My Little Pony, is it? That would be pretty funny if Bowser likes My Little Pony. Not that it's a very bad show, I just don't watch it. I just can't get into the whole brony rage. Or all that hype. Hey, what's up? Huh? What is it? Do you want to dance? With you? No. I'd rather dance by myself. Jungle Jive. This is the only dance school in the jungle. I'm Hulu, the dance instructor. Hi. Say, do you have any dance experience? Uh, I have two left feet. Oh, I'm sure you're not that bad. After all, everyone has to start somewhere. Let's dance. I'll see if I can keep up. Just press the buttons I show you, okay? Are you ready? Then let's dance. Okay. Just what buttons? B. Oh, well, that's simple enough. You only have like three things to press. As for the D-pad, it can be in any direction. Oh, it's getting faster, I think. Either that or I'm reacting much faster. Okay, it is getting faster. Oh, I got it. Oh, that was fun. I totally agree. Now let me eat you and turn you into eggs. Wow, what timing. What incredible grace! You did so well! Here, have this gadget! Ah, the mini bowling. You should be a dancer! I'm serious! Come back anytime! Good to know I wasn't assaulted by spear guys, because chances are on Yoshi's Island I've eaten some of their ancestors. Back when Mario was still a baby. I'm not tired! 
Don't you tell me how I'm feeling. The jungle game hut. I think that's where I'm gonna go next. Oh, that's perfect. Time to play the game! This jungle game hut is one wild place. My name is Hoot, and I'm in need of help. You know, I haven't seen you since Super Mario 64, but I'll, I'll help. That's a hoot. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. Uh, you can fly, you know. You're not gonna be stuck. I've been playing games here for a while. But I've been on an awful losing streak. My dad's so heavy, I can't even fly. Wait, what? The mob broke your wings? Beat the game for me, so I can fly again. I'd love to. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. Okay, so all you need to do is play this game. Beat it to get a minigame. If you don't, then I'll never get out of here. You can walk! Stop him. Win at least one coin more than you started with, as usual. You know, I can just pick up the bird and throw him. Okay, pick a spot, spin stop is A, D pass, to change coins and choose. If the light stops on a spot you bet on, you'll win coins. Is this like roulette or something? It is. Um, let's see. I think my chances are more likely on diamond. Come on, give me something good. Give me something. Come on, come on. Oh, I gotta stop with A again. Diamonds, 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 diamonds. That was nothing. One more coin than I started with. Oh, I could pretty much just bet on anything. But two coins here. Oh, wait. Actually, two coins here. Three coins here. But one over here, and that'll be it. Because even if I get it, like, on diamonds, I'll get six. That's not too bad. Let's go! Give me a little bit of leverage. No! Uh, it's not looking good for me. Let's try diamonds again. There we go! Hmm. If I can get it on club, I bet like two on clubs. Come on, I might get lucky. Oh, or not. Can't even bet on the gray spaces. It's like, oh no, you can't get those. None for you. I'm gonna go for hearts. At least there are like three hearts there. That way, if I get on hearts, I'm guaranteed to win. Not by much, though, but it's still a win. Yeah! Ho ho! Ho, that, that went according to plan. Well, technically, my plan was to get it right on the first try. But, you know, I'll take that. Hoot! You did it! I feel so much lighter! And you were so fast! You made my head spin! Um... Oh my god, Demon Owl! Oh dear god! Thank you! The minigame is all yours! This minigame... <laughs> City must have gotten one! Are you going to... All? Well, good luck! You've got serious... <laughs> Yeah, next time I come here, I'm bringing some holy water. Because heads do not turn that way naturally. I mean, Kapora, Gaboras, and Zelda did so vertically, but... Damn! That's just creepy. Okay, that turned out pretty good, too. Maintaining a good streak until I see that freaking shelf game. That one keeps kicking my ass. Is there any more in the jungle? Oh, there's like these two, actually. I think I'll do one more and then I'll stop. Go to the petal house. 
I long, I long, oh how I long. No, you're not long. You there! I long for insistence. Um, do you need like some herbicide or something? Because I can help with that. Blossom of my heart. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm Petal Guy. Cupid's arrow has struck me true. I've fallen in love, but I know not where my love lies. I've seen her once in town. Find her, and I'll give you a gadget. Uh, gladly. Oh, merci, merci. Let me describe my dearest in detail. She is delicate, like a fragile butterfly, and full of life and color, like a flower. Look, she is like a butterfly, a blossom. When you see her, give her my poem of love. So in other words, I have to head over to Mushroom Condo to see that flying wiggler butterfly. I'll meet you there at the condo. All right, I made it. And I remember I gotta go to the third floor to see her. Yes, I'm Flutter. You want to talk? What is it? What are you talking about? Uh, Petal Guy likes you. Petal Guy? Who's he? What does he want? Please, my dear, hold on a moment. Oh, I made it! After you left, I went off to look for my beloved, too! Who's this guy? I am your destiny. Listen to my poem. Listen to your what? You're my what? Oh, this is gonna be awkward. Eyes like the ocean, nose like a mountain. Mouth like the shining sun. You are my earth. And I, a lone spaceman, crash into your love. Um, still a better love story than Twilight. So, did you like it? Do you know how I feel? Uh, oh, look at the time. I've got a jet. She didn't like you. Did I not convey my feelings to her? I will not give up. She will know my heart. My thanks go out to you. Here, have this. And I'm sure she's gonna bring some mace with her next time. You got the bead machine. See you later. Keep on sharing the love. And I'm pretty sure Petal Guy will be shared on the sex offender registry. He just wants some attention! Ah, uh, what the hell. One more mushroom challenge and I'll stop the video. <laughs> Pesticide. Not to mention I have too much pride to not do anything stupid. Anyways, I'll stop the video here. Next part, I'll meet you back in the jungle and hopefully finish it. Then I think I have to head for the beach as well. See ya.